Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? How do you feel today? Uh -huh. How do you feel? How are you? Good, so, so, relaxing, tiring. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay, so I can see that we have Maria Vilma, we have Diana, uh, we have Alexandra, Katia, we have Manuel. Um, well, guys, okay, what about your weekend? How was it? How was your weekend? Good, so, so. Uh -huh. So, fin de semana. So, so. So, so, okay. Yes. I visit my, my bro and my grandmother. Okay. Um, she is really sick. Okay, George. Sorry about that. Okay. Thanks. Yes. And what about the other ones? Uh huh. Relaxing, says uh, Mercedes. And your weekend, Diana? Uh -huh. How was your weekend? Uh, so, so. So, so. Did you work? Uh, no. Uh -huh. uh, no. No. Okay. No. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So let's see. Uh, okay. Alexandra. Okay. Guys, well, today is our last week. Okay. It's going to be our last week. Remember that this week we are finishing module two. Okay. So um, then we are going to start with today's class. Okay. So let's see. Today's agenda, we have different things that we are going to cover and we also have something um, different. Okay. A, a topic that is going to be probably new for some of you. And okay, so today's agenda, we have the warm up, then we are going to move to the grammar topic and the grammar topic is going to be was and where. Maybe some of you have heard about this before. Probably some of you, um, okay, Edwin, it's okay. Maybe some of you have not heard about it before, but today we are going to study this interesting and useful topic. We also have a speaking and we have a short quiz, okay? And the end of the class. So welcome once again, everybody. And we are going to start with the warm up. okay? So we have a tongue twister, yes? Tenemos un trabalengua. So let's see, guys. Bye. It goes like this. Wilma was watching the waves by the shore while Winston and Wendy were waiting in the water. Was Wilma worried? Were Winston and Wendy wild? Who would win the race they were waiting for? Yes, I know it's kind of difficult, but it's not difficult. It is long, it's a largo, okay? But we need to start learning like this, okay? Once again, Wilma was watching the waves by the shore while Winston and Wendy were waiting in the water. Was Wilma worried? Were Winston and Wendy wild? Who would win the race there? they were waiting for? They were waiting for. Okay, who wants to try? Mm -hmm. Who wants to try? ¿Quién quiere tratar? Let's see. Can I? Okay, George, go. Okay. Wilma was watching the waves be the shore mm -hmm. while Winston and Wendy were waiting in the water. Yes. Was Wilma worried? Were Winston and Wendy wild? Okay. Who would be the race they were waiting for? Perfect, okay. 
So the only observation, Yurich, is going to be this one, which is by. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Very good, but it was good. Okay, almost perfect. Thank you, George. Somebody else? Mm -hmm. Or should I, uh, should I choose Cindy? Go, Cindy. Wilma was watching the what, the what? The waves. By, the waves by the shore. Will Winson and Wendy were waiting in the water. Was Wilma worried where Winston and Wendy will while while uh, who will win the race they were waiting for? Waiting for. Waiting for. While. While. Excellent. Very good. Somebody else that wants to try? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to choose somebody else, okay? Um, Jonathan David Sea, are you there? Yes. Thank you. Okay, go. Wilma was watching the waves by the shore. Will Winston and Wendy were wading in the water. Mm -hmm. Was Wilma worried where Winston and Wendy will no wait while who would win the race they were waiting for very good okay while while yes waiting yes waiting yes so while means mientras mientras and waiting uh, means cruzar, como las cebras que ustedes ven acá están cruzando el río. They are waiting in the water. Yes, cruzar. Okay, guys, let's move, okay? And let's move to past of the verb to be. Past of the verb to be. Okay, let me ask you, who knows about this topic? Who knows? Uh -huh. What do you know about this topic? Do you have any idea? No? Verb to be in past. Okay. El um, verbo se le agrega ed? No. Okay. Before moving on, let me ask you guys, do you remember about the verb to be in present? Yes, okay. So tell me which is the verb to be in present. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Maria. I? No. Or what? No. no. Guys, okay, guys, which is the verb to be in present? Thank you, Alexandra. Okay, guys, remember, the verb to be in present is um, is, is are. are. Very good. I, you, we, they, he, she, and it son subjects. Sujetos. Eso no es el verbo to be. The verb to be in present is am, um, is, and are. Okay? But today, we are going to start with the verb to be in past. Okay? So, let's see. Let's start. So we have was and where, okay? Was and where. All right, guys, look at this, okay? 
So we use was for the subjects, for the pronouns, I, he, she, and it. Yes? I, he, she, and it. So I was, he was, she was, it was. Yes? Now, in this case, what is the meaning of was and where? What is the meaning? What is the meaning of was and where? Any idea? No? So was, was and where, not. okay. Was and where in Spanish would be fui o estuve. Y dependiendo de su sujeto, así lo va a conjugar. You are going to conjugate. Yes. So, for example, I was, yo fui, o yo estuve. He was, él fue, or él estuvo. Yes. She was, ella fue, o ella estuvo. It was, eso fue, eso estuvo. And now we also have where. Look at this. We were. You were. They were. Nosotros fuimos, nosotros estuvimos. Tú fuiste, tú estuviste. They were, ellos fueron, ellos estuvieron. ¿Ok? It depends on the subject. Depende del sujeto, así va a conjugarlo. ¿Ok? So, fui o estuve. ¿Ok? Now, the uh, was and where are past tenses of the verb to be. ¿Ok? Es el pasado del verbo to be. Was and where. We also have negatives. I was not. He was not. She was not. It was not. But with the contraction, it will be I wasn't, he wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't. Now we also have we were not. You were not. They were not. Now with the contraction, it will be we weren't, you weren't, they weren't. Okay, with a contraction. Then we also have the questions. Was I, was he, was she, was it, were we, were you, were they? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is an overview. Esa es una visión general del tema. All right. Now, let's move. Let's move. We also have the structure. But first, we are going to talk about time expressions. Yes. And when we say time expressions, we mean expresiones de tiempo, time expressions that we can use in the past of was and where. We have last night, last Sunday, last week, in the summer, at Christmas, yesterday evening. So, what is the meaning of last night? Ayer en la noche. Last Sunday, el domingo pasado. Last week, la semana pasada. In the summer, en el verano. At Christmas, 
en Navidad. Yesterday evening, ayer por la tarde. Those are time expressions about the past. Si ya se dio cuenta, son expresiones para hablar del past. Pasado, past. Yes. Now we have positive sentences. We have negative sentences. And we have questions. Yes. So let's start with the positive sentences. Okay, the structure is subject plus was or where plus complement. Subject was or where plus complement. And look at this. Yes, look at this. So we have um, in the example sentence I subject was born on October 24th. Teacher, and what is the meaning of that? Yo nací en octubre 24. I was born on October 24th. Yes? Now, we can say the negative well, let's uh, create another example with the positive, okay? If we want to say, yo estuve en mi casa ayer. I was, was study, at, study at, at my house. Uh, okay, uh, yo estuve en mi casa ayer, okay? Yes, I was, Uh -huh. Yo estuve en mi casa ayer. I was in my house yesterday. In my house yesterday, okay? I was in my house yesterday. Okay? Yes? Y mire, aquí tenemos ya, empezamos a utilizar yesterday, ayer, yesterday. Eso significa ayer, okay? Otra oración positiva. Um, ella era mi amiga. Ella era mi amiga. Uh -huh. She was my, my friend. She was my friend. Very good. Another one. Ellos eran mis amigos. Friends. Okay. They, they was, no, they were. They were. They were. Uh -huh. My, My friend. friends. Friends. Very good. Nosotros éramos compañeros. We were, we were partners. compañeros, partners, partners, okay, another one, another way to say compañeros, another, a synonym, classmates, okay, we were classmates, yes, uh -huh. um, Okay, um, él era enojado. He was, he was angry. Angry. angry, angry. Very good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Excellent, okay. Thank you, Alexander. Um, okay, another one. Um, Nosotros éramos, eh, ¿qué? Nosotros éramos estudiantes. We was, 
students. We were students. We were, we were students. students. Uh -huh. You see? Yes. Okay. Lo utilizamos con eh, nombres, okay? Con, con nombres, con complementos, no con otro verbo después de was y were. Ok, eso sería otro tiempo verbal. Ok. Si usted se fija, yo he puesto, I was in my house yesterday. House, a noun. She was my friend. Noun. They were my friends. Noun. Classmates. Noun. We were classmates. He was angry. Adjective. We were students. Occupations. Huh? Yes? Do you have any question? Questions or doubts? Not right now? Okay, so now let's move to the negative, okay? With the negative, as you can see right here, we have subjects plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. And we have Susan, wasn't at the party last night. Susan wasn't at the party last night. Susan no estaba en la fiesta ayer en la noche. La noche pasada, la noche anterior. Ok, negative. Entonces, movámonos a los ejemplos que ya teníamos. Ok. We can um, use the contractions or we can use the long way, okay? So, I wasn't in my house yesterday. She wasn't, negative, wasn't my friend. They weren't my friends. We weren't classmates. He wasn't angry. And we weren't students. Okay? If you want to use contractions, it's okay. If not, it's okay as well. Contracción o sin contracción, ambas están correctas. Both of them are correct. Both are correct. Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Preguntas, dudas? No? Okay, so let's do something. I need you to create two positive sentences and two negative sentences, okay? Dos positivas y dos negativas, okay? Y se la voy a preguntar. Le voy a dar tres minutos. Dos positivas y dos negativas. Las mismas positivas las puedo hacer negativas así como yo lo hice en esos ejemplos. ¿Ok? I'm going to give you three minutes. Three minutes. ¿Ok? Hurry up. Esta vez no me las mandé al chat aún. ¿Ok? Se las voy a preguntar así para ver cómo pronuncia las contracciones. Si estamos utilizando contracciones. ¿Verdad que dijo dos positivas y dos negativas, teacher? Yes, two positive and two negatives. ¿Verdad, teacher, que el verbo iría en pasado? ¿Cuál verbo? Digamos, si yo quisiera decir yo comí pupus. <risa> ah, vaya. Entonces, ese, el, el yo comí pupusa sería pasado simple, pero no sería esto. Ah. Acuérdense que eso es yo estuve, yo fui. Ah. Ok. O yo era. Yo era pequeña, yo era delgada, eh, yo era enojada. 
¿ok? O yo estuve en Estados Unidos, o yo estuve en, en el parque, ¿sí? Porque es el fui y estuve, ¿ok? Uh -huh. No, el hice o estaba. ¿sí? No. Correcto. En ese caso, el yo comí, si usted se fija, ya no ponemos ni fui ni estuve. Decimos yo comí. Ya es otro verbo. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, ready? Ready or not ready? Mm -hmm. ¿Listos? ¿Ready? Ok, so let's see. Eh, let me see, guys. Eh, Fabiola Jamilez, are you there? Yes. Aún um, no, teacher. No? Ok. Eh, yes. Ask. Okay. Tengo migraña y no, no me estoy concentrando. Ok. Astrid. Sí, hola. Okay. Yo. Ahorita. Um, bueno, la primera le puse, was I good student? Was, I was a good student, ok. Uh -huh. uh, were we all friends? Ok. Uh, negative, weren't you a fit person? <laughs> oh, okay. You, mm -hmm. you have made, usted creo, uh, preguntas. Okay. ¿No eran preguntas? Oh, no, eran oraciones, pero dígame. Ah, uh, okay. Y de ahí, wasn't he happy at you? Wasn't he a happy child? A happy child. A happy child. Sí, Very good. Child. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, esas eran okay. las cuatro. Thank you. Okay, so let me see Katia Mayerly. Katia? Eddie Zelda? Eh, ahora mismo solo tengo las positivas, estaba pensando en las negativas. Ok, de, dígame las positivas. I was wrong every day. Ok. He was a student. He was a student. Ok. Now, con la primera, um, I was wrong every day. Bye. Uh -huh. eh, vamos a remover run porque ese es un verbo. Y vamos a remover every day. Okay. Porque si no diríamos, yo estuve correr cada día. Okay. Uh -huh. Y en este caso recordemos que was y where es fui o estuve. Podemos poner, yo estuve en la iglesia ayer. Okay. Entonces vamos a poner, I was in the church yesterday. I was in the church yesterday. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Okay. 
Um, okay, so let me see. Diana? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I was in the gimnasio. Oh, okay. Yes, no. I no. was at the gym. Uh, at the gym. Actually, I was in the at the gym. I was no. I was at the gym. Ah, uh, I, uh, I was at the gym. Okay, was. Uh, sería el ninja, no sería at, verdad? Correct. She was asleep. She was asleep. Okay. Very good. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. En negrita era. Bueno, me puse esa misma. She was in sleep. Okay. En la cara y solo esa. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Right. <laughs> okay, all right. Bye, guys. Pay attention, okay? Preste mi atención. Preste mi atención para que podamos nosotros eh, comprender el tema. ¿Sí? Bye. Eh, tenemos en este caso esta oración, la cual eh, pues hemos creado. ¿Sí? Bye. Pero esta oración en nuestro español diría así. Ella fue dormir. No, ah, no, pero yo le quería decir delgada. ¿Cómo se dice delgada? Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿lo tiene así? Mm, que no es S-L-I-M. ¿Lo tiene así? Eh, con I latina. ¿Lo tiene así? Así. <risa> así. Muy bien. Entonces, she, she was slim. Ok. Entonces, sí. La tiene bien. Ok. Api, yo lo pronuncié mal. Sí, ok. No se preocupe, que para eso es que estamos aprendiendo exactamente porque algunas palabras hay que pronunciarlas de la forma correcta. Pero muy bien. Entonces, recuerde, esta es slim. Con la M, slim. 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 Muy bien. Very good. Ok. So, let me see. Um, somebody else. Ok, ¿alguien más que ya las haya terminado? Yo, teacher, solo que no sé cómo se dice. Bueno, yo la he puesto así, I was small last year. Ok. Uh -huh. Así está bien, o cambiaría el, el verbo. El, adje el adjetivo este... va a cambiar a short. Que era pequeña, ¿ah? Oh. ¿no? I was short last year. Yes. Uh -huh. I was at the gym last week. Yes. I was working late okay. last week. Okay. Very good. They are correct. Thank you, Fabiola. Ediselda. Yo tengo las dos en negativo. Se las okay. y me dice si Yes. I was not at home yesterday. She uh -huh. was not at the party on Sunday. Excellent. Very good. Yes, it is. Okay, somebody else? Alguien más? Me, teacher. Okay, Liliana and then Carlos Israel. Okay. She was a bit scared. They were in the park. Las negativas serían, she was a bit scared. They weren't in the park. Oh, okay. So now this pronunciation, Liliana. Scared. Okay. Is scared. Perfect. Scared. Thank you. Very good. Carlos? Okay. Uh, I was in the market five minutes ago. Uh, I was in tell unit in the morning. Okay. And negative, I was in an up, up, no sé cómo se dice, upload, upload. Okay. In a student applicado, a student. Okay. And I was not about upload. In the park. I was not in the park. No, no, I was not a bad athlete. Uh, athlete, atleta. Ah, a good a athlete. No, athlete. I was not a bad athlete. athlete. Ah, I was not a bad athlete. Okay. Athlete. Perfect. Very good. Thank uh, you. Athlete. 
Apply? ¿Cómo se dice? Apply. 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 Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Thank you. María Vilma. Eh, las positivas, yo cambié el, como el she por my mother, no sé si está bien. Yeah, está bien. Uh -huh. sí. Entonces las positivas son, eh, my mother was hungry yesterday. Yes. And my hair was happy last night. Last night. night. Last night. And negative and... My mother wasn't hungry yesterday. Yes. Yes. And, and my hair wasn't happy last night. M my? My hair. Uh, mi niña. Oh, no. My girl. Ah, my girl. Girl. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dígalo. Yes. My girl wasn't happy last night. Okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Very good. Now, um, eh, Carlos Israel, cuando queramos decir, and this is for everybody, okay? Es para todos. Whenever we want to say que yo era un estudiante aplicado o yo fui un estudiante aplicado o yo no era un estudiante aplicado, okay? El, el, um, el, el adjetivo correcto sería dedicated. Ok, so I was a dedicated student. Y usted fue un mm -hmm. estudiante aplicado. Apply es aplicar, pero es en otro contexto. Ok. okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas, tiene dudas hasta aquí. No? Okay. Then let's move to the questions. Okay. Let's move to the questions. So we have questions. We start with was or where, then the subject, and then the complement and the question mark. Was Carlos a great singer? Was Carlos a great Singer, yes, he was, or no, he wasn't. Era Carlos un cantante, un buen cantante? Yes, he was. Sí, lo era. No, he wasn't. No, no lo era. Ok. Was Carlos a great singer? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want you to do es que quiero que haga las mismas positivas, ahora me las haga preguntas. Las que ha hecho. Yes, I'll give you two minutes. Le doy dos minutos para que haga las mismas positivas, ahora las transforme en preguntas. Las mismas. Okay, one minute.
Okay, if you have questions, ask. Si tienen preguntas, me las ask. Okay, Cindy, can you please give us your questions? Okay, uh, was she in the school yesterday? Right. Uh, was I was I in the park last night? Perfect. Uh, they we in the party last week. Where we? They. They were. Oh, were they? Ah, uh, yes. The were question. They. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Were they? Okay, perfect. Maria Vilma? Yes. Was my mother hungry yesterday? Perfect. And was my, was my girl happy last night? Excellent. Very good. Perfect. Okay. So let me see. Uh, Diana? Uh, the, the, this is a fish app. What's my song in the park? Perfect. Uh, were they in the job? Okay. Uh, was she slim? Was she slim? Perfect. Perfect. Jenny Lisbeth? Was I at my house yesterday? Was he studying last night? Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Somebody else that wants to share with us? Somebody Me? else? Okay. Thank you, Mercedes. Uh, was you very quiet? Okay. Uh, were they a big eater? Were they a big eater? E I T E R. Yeah. Eater? Eater. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. mm, that's all. That's yeah. all. But the first one again, tell me the first one, number one. And the question yes okay was you very quiet okay is it was you or were you mm. oh were you were you okay <laughs> thank you very good okay very good okay somebody else now let's move okay so now let's see Let's complete the sentence with the correct use of was and where. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's see. Number one. Okay. In this case, form the negative. Form the negative. She was ill. Give me the negative. She wasn't ill. Ill. Perfect. Teacher, and what is the meaning of? Ill. What is ill? Ill means enfermo, enferma. So ella estaba enferma. Yes. They were hungry. Give me the negative. They, they, were, were, they weren't hungry. hungry. Excellent. Children hungry. were sleepy. Give me the negative. Children, Children were uh, sleepy. Sleepy. sleepy, very good teacher. And what is a sleepy? A sleepy means soñoliento. Mire, cuando usted tiene sueño, no vamos a decir I am asleep. Yes, or, yeah, or I am dream, porque dream es sueño. Soñar. Vamos a decir tengo sueño, ahí ya sería en presente, porque es como tengo sueño, ¿está? Pero, sí, ajá. Oh, sorry, uh, what is the difference between 
Il and six. Yes. Il um, is, I would say, stronger than sick. Il es cuando la persona está enferma con alguna eh, enfermedad grave. Y sick es cuando usted tiene probablemente gripe, lectura. Sí, no, 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 ¿Eh? Ok, teacher. No, pero la América se la llevó. Eh, ella la tenía. ¿no? ¿Quién la? New Child. Yes. Ay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, eh, Carlos, I, I don't know if you listen to me, okay? No sé si me logro escuchar, pero... Eh, okay, perfect. So that is the difference, okay? Esa es la diferencia. Okay, bye. Ahora, ¿cómo decimos tengo sueño? Mire, I am sleepy. Okay, I am sleepy, tengo sueño. Yes? So what about number four? He was... Thirsty. Give me the negative. She wasn't and thirsty. She wasn't thirsty. Teacher, and what is the meaning of thirsty? What is the meaning of thirsty? Uh -huh. Who knows? Alguien que sepa? Thirsty? Sediento. Cuando se tiene sed. Okay? Puede decir, I am thirsty. Yo estoy sediento. Tengo ganas de tomar agua. I am thirsty. I'm going to drink water. Okay. But in this case, pass. He was thirsty. I was pretty. Give me the negative. He wasn't pretty. He wasn't pretty. Okay. Or I wasn't pretty. Number six. We were at home. Negative. Uh -huh. We were. were. Uh -huh. um, number seven, negative. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. Was was number eight. He wasn't. 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 Repeat after me and say angry. 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 Yes. Now angry. number nine. They were. They were. They were. Okay. Tasty. Repeat after me and say tasty. 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 And what is the meaning of tasty? What is tasty? Tasty means delicioso, sabroso. Yes? Huh? Cuando le preguntan, ¿le gustaron las pupusas? Si sí, estaban bien ricas, dice uno. Ok, so pues they were tasty. Huh? Okay, now. Teacher se pronuncia, ¿cómo dijo? Oh, tasty. Taste. Taste. Tasty. Uh -huh. Hasta hay una página en, en Facebook que se llama Tasty. No sé si alguien la ha visto. Ok, pero se llama Tasty, donde solo suben recetas. Right? De ahí viene. Sabroso, delicioso, tasty. Ok, form the questions. Vamos con, a formar preguntas. Give me the question for Ben was a teacher. Was, was Ben, 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 was ben a, teacher. a teacher? Perfect. Number two. Was, was, was Ben a doctor. doctor? Perfect. Three. Were they, were they hungry? hungry? Were they hungry? Perfect. Number four. Were, were we were at, at the zoo? zoo? Excellent. Number five. What's what Repeat ugly. after me. Ugly. Ah, uh, ugly. Ugly. Perfect. Yeah, what? Ugly. Yes. Was he ugly? And what is ugly? Fail. Ugly means fail. Number six. Was she happy? Was she happy? Was she happy? Number seven. Was, was, you lucky? I, lucky? Yes. was I, lucky? I lucky? Lucky, lucky. Yeah. Teacher, and what is lucky? Lucky means suertudo, suertuda. Yeah? Suertudo, suertuda. Suerte es hasta la K, la letter K, suerte. Pero lucky, suertudo, suertuda. Number eight, give me the question. 
were you in London? In London, perfect. And number nine. Were they, were they sad? sad? Perfect. You see? Very good. Excellent. Okay. Do you have questions? Do you have doubts? No? Okay. Before taking the quiz, all right, antes de tomar el examen, let's complete this part. Okay. Write was or were. My friends. Where, in the park. Where, where in, the park. in the park because it's plural number two it was where was because we oh, use wow. was with it yes it was tom's birthday last monday number three where were, were you at home yesterday number four was, was. was. adam was. was number five where? where children uh, wear where? plural children wear plural niños number six was 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 very good number seven was, was, she, 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 was she a pretty baby number eight was, was, was a teacher he was a teacher number nine where they were, were. were. At the cinema. cinema. Excellent. Okay. So now, yes, what we are going to do is that we are going to take the short quiz that we have. Okay. We are going to take the short quiz that we have. And this one is was or where. I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen. Um, look at this, guys. Le voy a mostrar mi pantalla para que usted sepa lo que va a hacer. Okay. El link que le acabo de mandar lo abre en su teléfono, en su computadora, donde esté usted, y le va a desplegar esta página. Cuando usted ya termine, le va a dar terminado y le va a salir dos opciones. Enviar mis respuestas a mi profesor o comprobar mis respuestas. Usted le va a dar comprobar mis respuestas y ahí le va a salir cuántas ha tenido buenas y cuántas tuvo malas y me manda la captura al WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Mientras tanto, yo voy a tomar asistencia mientras usted toma su evaluación. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. Bye. En el chat de Zoom, ya le mandé el link. ¿Ok? Ahí revise, ahí debe de estar. Si no lo tiene, me aviso. Alexandra Giselle Corena. Astrid Gabriela Navarrete Alemán. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Escoto Martínez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Israel Estrada Alemán. Present. Thank you. Ok, Alexandra, thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez Arguera. Carlos Vidal. Cindy Stephanie Ramírez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Milagro Hernández Palacios. Damaris. Daniela Lisbeth Martínez Cruz. Present. Thank you. Diana Beatriz Reyes Ayala. Present. Thank you. Ediselda Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Edwin Giovanni Espinosa Melgar. Fabiola Jamilez Díaz Alas. Thank you, Joan. Present. Thank you. Ingrid Astrid Asunción Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Jonathan David Sea Leiva. Present. Thank you. Jorge Mauricio Gutiérrez Alfaro. José Alejandro Flores López. Presente, teacher. No pude yes. responder. Thank you. José Alejandro. Katia Mayerly Granados Jiménez. Ok. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Manuel Alexander Áviles Chacón. Present. Thank you. María Vilma Cortés Rivas. Present. Thank you.
Mario Ernesto Guevara Monge. Mercedes Isabel. Thank you, Mario. Mercedes Isabel. Present. Thank you. Present. Mirna Yamilez Reyes Arqueta. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez Hernández. Tatiana. En Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortés. Jenny. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Continue, guys. Here, I yep. finish. I finish. Pero no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. <laughs> Ay, Mercedes. Okay. ¿Cuántas tú? Eh, 10 de 10. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Very good. I see that most of you got good scores. Okay. 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 Let me see Diana. Okay. Okay. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas hasta aquí. Tiene dudas. Now? Okay. Let's continue then. Okay. Let's continue. Circle the correct answer. Okay. Let's circle the correct answer. Number one. The children were or was? Were. Were. Number where. two. Was or where? Where? Was. 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 Okay, because your brother is he. Number three. Was. 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 Perfect, because it's Jim. Four. Was. 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 Very good. Number five. Where. 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 Excellent. Number six. Was. 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 Okay. Number seven. Was. 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 And number eight. Where. 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 Okay. Now let me see if you pay attention. Okay. I'm going to ask you questions. Okay, guys. What is the meaning of a sleepy? Dormir. Sonoliento. Sonoliento. Okay. What is the meaning of thirsty? Sediento. Sediento. Mm -hmm. And what is the meaning of tasty? Mm, delicioso. Delicioso. Okay. Um, and what is the difference, okay, between ill and sick? Enfermo. Enfermo, okay. And what is the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? De ill and sick. Ill es una enfermedad grave. Okay. Puede ser gripe o... Excellent. Talento. Very good, Cindy. Perfect. Okay. Muy bien. Okay. Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas, dudas, antes de que nos vayamos? No? Okay. Remember that this week is the last week for module two. Esa semana finalizamos con el módulo dos. Recuerde realizar sus ejercicios en la plataforma, que no se le olvide si no ha terminado. Okay. Well, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much for connecting. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you.
Good night. Take care, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.